In this tutorial, we we'll demonstrate how to use OAP's ZAP, also called the Z Attack Proxy, to identify web applications vulnerability on Metasploitable, an intentionally vulnerable virtual machine used for testing and training purposes. So for this video, we'll need a Metasploitable machine, we'll need OAP's ZAP, which we'll be downloading and configuring, and then we'll need a Kali Linux machine. So let's first of all, I already have my Metasploitable machine here. So let's go ahead and download the OAPS ZAP. So to do this, simply go to the website of the OAPS ZAP. Yeah, website is, yes, go to your web browser and type in ZAP. And then click on the first link that pops up. Now we are going to go ahead and go to download now and then we we'll we'll choose Linux installer. It's 200 megabytes so it's going to take some few minutes to get finished. So once you get finished, we're going to go ahead and install it. Alright, now that our package is done downloading, I know it's going to be in our download, so let's confirm that it's in our download before we go ahead to install it. So yes, you can see it's in our download. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I'll go ahead and close this as well. And then you would open a new terminal. For this terminal, we are going to open as root. If you are on your, if I know, we'll just type in su and you'll be switched to root. So I'm going to type in my password and then I'll be open as root. Now that I'm in root, I'm going to go to my download folder. So I'll go to cd downloads. So now I'm going to go to my download folder. So I'll type in um, CD. My user is ultra, so ultra. Um, then I'll hit enter ls. Then I'll go to my download, which is CD space downloads. And then I'll hit enter. Yes, to see that our download package is here. But as you can see, it's not executable. So in order to execute it or make it executable, you have to type in the chmod to modify it, space, then we're going to press plus, x, space. Then we're going to copy the name of the file we want to modify, which is the zap. I'm going to copy it then. I'll paste it here, and then I'll press enter. So if I should ls again, you can see that now it's it can be, I mean, executed. So now that it can be executed, we are going to go ahead and just type in the name of the file. Then we'll hit enter. Type in ls. And then I'll copy the name. I'll paste it here. And before you start, you have to put in a, a full stop followed by a forward slash and then you execute it. So it's going to go ahead and start the installer. So you can just, the rest of the processes are just straightforward, which you could just go ahead and install. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next, accept the agreement, yes, and then hit next. I'm going to leave, the, leave it as standard installation then I'll go ahead and hit next install so I'm going to go ahead and hit finish now that uh, we have our metasploitable so we are done installing over zap you go ahead to your menu here and then you type in Zap, you see that it's here. So if I click on Zap, if I did click on it, 
Uh, yeah. We're going to go ahead and load some few more services. Let's give it a minute. Great. Now we have, do you have to persist the zap session? So in this part, you just click on don't ask again and then I don't want to persist this session at the moment. Then I'm going to hit start. So now we have our Kali Linux machine ready for our, our pen testing. But now let's go to our Metasploitable machine. We want to get an IP address. So the IP address was 192.168.137.129. Great. So we have all the things we need to start pen testing on this. So now that our metasploitable machine is running, we can now launch our OAP zap attack. So now that we've opened our OAP zap tool, we'll be greeted with this screen, which is a, a quick start tab. So simply click on, okay. Simply click on automated scan. And then for the URL to attack, you paste in the, you paste in the IP address of the machine we want to scan, which is our IPM, which is our metasploitable machine, which was 192, uh, which was 192.168.137.129. So that's now that it is, it's done, you can go ahead and click attack. So OAP Zap will start by spidering targets to discover all accessible links and pages. This process involves crawling through the web application to map out its, let me see, structure. Now, you can see that um, we are running this against a metasploitable machine and the metasploitable machine is deliberately made to be exploitable. It's deliberately made to have a lot of bugs, a lot of vulnerabilities. So I don't expect to see um, some of the results you might see after this scan on an actual network because an actual network has security in place. So OAS will automatically start spidering the website or the target just as I said. However, aside um, spidering, once the spidering is done, it's going to automatically also start scanning for vulnerabilities. So the tool will perform various taxes such as SQL injection, um, cross-site scripting, also called XSS, and other web application vulnerabilities. So let's give it a second for it to complete, and then we'll come again to um, review the results. So this tool can perform various taxes, and these taxes can really take some time. So whilst um, OAP Zap continues, it can, I would like to walk you through these guys here. So right after the spider scan, it's going to start a vulnerability scan. And as it scans, it's going to separate the vulnerabilities into high, um, into high, median, and low. So I think we have one alert here which says that, which suggests that it's high. So let's go and check what we have over there. So at the alert tab, click on this drop down menu, you see the type of alerts we have. So the first one is so vulnerability and the confidence level is median. So what this does is that it says that it goes ahead to describe what this type of vulnerability is. And it's a, it's, it says that it's a path transverse attack technique allows, allows an attacker access to files, directories, and commands that potentially reside outside the web document to root etc blah, 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 blah. So it goes ahead to describe what vulnerability this has. Now let's go ahead again and see the next one. So this one is also another vulnerability which is also tagged as high and their confidence is median. And then it goes ahead to explain the description of this type of vulnerability. So that's how you do a scan using OAP Zap for your pen testing. Again, if we had other scans that suggest that we had some low or median vulnerabilities, it would have been displayed and the process is going to be the same. So that's 
how it is in using a WhatsApp for vulnerability analysis. So using WhatsApp to scan Metasploitable provides a practical hands-on experience in identifying web application vulnerabilities. This ensure you use these tools very reasonably. This tutorial is intended for educational purposes only and scanning and authorized systems can lead to some serious problems. Anyways, that's it for today. See you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and keep learning.